So making rice pudding, I mean, I one thing at the restaurant I really like to do is kind of like comfort food, you know, but with a bit of a twist. So we'll just leave that to heat up. One thing we're going to chuck in there first is a vanilla pod. And everyone loves halloumi, right? It's fantastic. And the best way to gr is to grill it. What we're going to do is... We're going to wrap the halloumi in vine leaves. I'll tell you what, it's delicious. We're going to serve it with a roasted beetroot, olive, parsley, and quinoa salad. So we've got some roasted beetroot here. All we've done is finely diced it and sauteed it in a pan. We add a little bit of salt and pepper and just cook it quite slowly. We've got olives too. Wonderful. So like I said, it's really easy. All we've got is a little bit of lemon juice in here. And the two halloumi pieces. And we'll just pile the salad up on there. Look at that. The beetroot brings a colour. That red co it stains everything. It's, it's wonderful. It does indeed. Now, one thing we do, we make a beetroot syrup as well, which is just beetroot, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of salt. And we just cook it down. It adds a nice little little flavour to the dish. Dressing, yeah. We're just putting our risotto together and this is one of the dishes I use in the restaurant. I cook in the restaurant. Um, we're making risotto with that rice which kind of doesn't really make sense. We're going to throw in some roasted pumpkin that we made. Yum. <laughs> um, and this is a pumpkin cream. Now this is really tasty. We saute down onions and garlic with chunks of pumpkin, put in a whole load of cream so it's maybe not the healthiest thing in the world, but it tastes great. And a little bit of butter, and then just cook it slowly. That's just going to help bring the... Because we don't have the starches coming out of the rice so much uh, when you're making risotto to make it creamy, so that's going to just give it a nice finish. You can have all the ingredients ready. And it's ready in no time. It was quick. And it looks great. That's a good way to get your kids to eat pumpkin. There's a little bit of spinach in there too, and of course the quinoa as well. We've got some quark. I'm, just while I'm waiting for our pasta to cook, all I've done in this pan here is grated zucchini, uh, sorry, diced onion, grated zucchini, some Paris Creek uh, butter, which is wow, and thyme, a little bit of feta, and a little bit of their quark. Our pasta, I think, is ready. We can see the pasta, like sometimes when I've cooked with, with uh, gluten-free pastas, end up in a big clump. But see, this one's all separate. What I love about this pasta is, it's, is the zucchini, you know, wouldn't think to put it in a pasta, but grating it through, you kind of get a little bit of zucchini in every bite. And the quark, you don't really want to heat the quark up, you just want to warm it through. And you probably don't even need to put it back on the stove because of the heat of the pasta. So we've got the, uh, the halloumi, the a great with the dish that is packed full of flavour and nutritious for you too. I love eating bread with pasta. So I thought, a bit of the bread on the side. With our rice pudding, I add the sugar towards the end. Otherwise, what you'll find is that the sugar will make the rice pudding too dark. And we're using... Uh, organic raw sugar from Dabon. What's really nice is marinate fruit in it. It has such an intense flavour, but if you leave, say you can marinate this one, leave it for a few hours, um, all the juices from the pears will start coming out, and wow. All we need in the rice pudding is a bit of cinnamon. So if you want to roast these in the oven, all you do is just coat them. We leave them for about half an hour, and then stick them on a tray and on a high heat for about 10 minutes. So when you make rice pudding, if you see, like, it looks, it looks wet, but the starches in the rice will help it thicken it up as it cools. So that's really easy. You can either serve it warm or cold. The pears, like I said, 10 minutes in the oven, and the spelt biscotti...